Holy Spirit. Amen. In the Apolitikia for St. Nicholas, it calls him the canon of faith and the icon of gentleness. Canona pistios ki icona praotitos. And it's an interesting statement that they make about him. And there's a lot that you can say about St. Nicholas. There's a lot you can say about St. Nicholas. Um, and he's regarded as the icon of what it means to be a hierarch. He's regarded the icon of what it means to be a priest. He's regarded in many ways what it means to be poor and charitable. Um, and so there's a lot that you can say. But one interesting point that I kind of wanted to point out and something that he's very famous for was what happened at the First Ecumenical Council. And it's an interesting contrast between the, how he's called the icon of gentleness. But if you know about what happened at the First Ecumenical Council, you might be asking yourself, well, how is he the icon of gentleness exactly? So let's get into that just for a moment. So if you don't know, the story is, and it's not just a story, it happened. In the First Ecumenical Council in 325, 318 fathers around the, the, the time of the church came together in Constantinople and Nicaea, in Nicaea, not Constantinople, and they discussed the Christ, they discussed dogma, they discussed many things. Um, one of the famous heretics at that time, probably the most famous heretic, is Arius. And the Arians essentially believed that Christ wasn't divine. They essentially de-emphasized his divinity. And it's interesting. So St. Nicholas at the time uh, was there present at the First Ecumenical Council. And in the course of the deliberations, Arius got up and started profaning the Holy Trinity. He started profaning the divinity of Christ. And St. Nicholas famously slaps him. He slaps Arius. And, it, and so it kind of brings up this question, you know, what happened there? Why is it okay that this saint slapped Arius? Well, he was stripped of his, of his priesthood, and he was ostracized. Um, and and in, a, in a way, right, rightly so, because, you know, as a priest, you can't, you know, inflict any violence upon anyone. Um, and so... He was stripped of who he was as an archbishop, and he went from being an archbishop to a common criminal. And he was actually imprisoned. And, and so, in which the, the first night that he was imprisoned, the Panagia and Christ both appeared to him, and the Panagia gave him his, his, um, his bishop's garment, essentially, mm -hmm. and Christ gave him the gospel. So he was he received the homophorion from the Panagia, and then Christ gave him the gospel, kind of reinstituting who he was as a priest and as an archbishop. And he had this vision, and he was freed from prison then, and he was reinstated his original episcopal rank. So why is it okay that he was able to slap Arius? What happened there? <laughs> and why is he called an icon of gentleness? I, I, I recall a story. There's a story of, in the book, Everyday Saints, and the book is in our, our bookstore. There's a, there's a point where a priest, and this is a, a more modern book, in the 1900s, or late 1800s, early 1900s, was walking, a monk was walking in the town, and a drunk was blaspheming the Holy Spirit, and the priest slapped the drunk. And so there's this thing called holy anger, or righteous indignation. And so I'm not telling you all you need to be uh, slapping people if they profane the Holy Spirit, but I think there's something that you can learn from St. Nicholas and from this priest that was protecting the, the grace of the Holy Spirit, in a way, was kind of holding upright, you know, the canon of faith, an icon of gentleness. You know, as, as, as Orthodox Christians, and especially in today's society, um, we are very prone to kind of just going with the flow. And whatever you hear in society, you just kind of accept. You say, oh, okay, well, I don't agree with that, but I'm not going to push back. And, and we kind of fall into that trap. And that trap can get so far in that people can actually um, say some pretty awful things. And if you don't speak up, then what are we doing? We're not, we're, act, we're not being 
canons of faith. We're not being, you know, kind of an icon of, of who we're supposed to be. We're denying our reality. And so there's a point in your life and in all of our lives where we do have to stick up for what is right, where we do have to be bold for our faith. And again, I'm not saying you need to go around slapping people that disagree with you. I'm not saying that. I am saying, though, that in our day and age, too few people are bold about who they are. Too few people are true in who they are in their faith. And it shows. And St. Nicholas is an icon in that way of that boldness, is an icon in that way of sticking up for your faith, of holding to what is true, of understanding that it's not okay to blaspheme the Holy Spirit, that it's not okay to blaspheme the Holy Trinity or to deny Christ's divinity, because that's not truth. And so he brought about decency and order even through righteous indignation. And so today, you know, in today's day and age, we hear these stories and, you know, there's a lot that we can learn from them. And so this is kind of what I want to point out is to be courageous and bold in who you are as Orthodox Christians, to be canons of faith and to not let people just say whatever they want. Be bold in who you are as Orthodox Christians. If we can do that, I think that we can, we can really kind of aim our heights higher and really speak the truth in love because that's what it was. Sometimes love can look like righteous indignation, right? Sometimes love can drive that. And so today, when we kind of look and we hear about how St. Nicholas slapped Arius, we're not focusing on the violence. We're focusing on the peace that it ensued, the order that it created, right? We're, we're focusing on the greater context of that. And so in your life, be bold, be courageous, stick up for who you are in a healthy way, right? And in that way, you'll be a canon of faith and you'll be an icon of peace and gentleness. May God bless you. May St. Nicholas intercede for all of us and Cronio Palazzo, all those who celebrate here and, and off everywhere. God bless you. Let's continue on.